Today, I start renovating my new apartment in my best friend's 250 year old convent here in rural France. So join me every weekday on my renovation journey. But full disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's get started. Here we are in the rear bedroom. It's the slightly bigger bedroom of the two. And this is where we're gonna be starting our renovation journey. And we're starting with the floor. Throughout this whole apartment, we have some rather dated vinyl flooring. However, I don't intend to remove it in every single room. I'm simply going to go over it. But in both bedrooms, I'm pretty sure I need to get it up because at the state of the vinyl flooring, well, let's just say it's starting to come up on its own. And I'm also quite excited to see what's underneath the floor. So let's find out together. So that's it for the first layer of vinyl and there's actually a second layer directly underneath it which I'm guessing is going to be a lot more difficult to remove than the first one because that was way too easy.
Just removed the second layer of the vinyl flooring. Funny enough, the second layer is exactly the same as the vinyl flooring that's in the other bedroom currently. However, this one was in much worse condition, peeling at the corners. Uh, it came off quite easily. They obviously used adhesive and a lot of it is still on the floor. Some of it's kind of crumbling. Um, the first layer, by the way, was just taped on top of the second one, so it's really easy to get off. But the floor is wood. We've got a wooden floor, but for some reason it's green, which I'm really confused about. Did the adhesive do that or what? I don't know. Also, there's a really cool thing I've discovered, and I've got a theory about what was there before in this room. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later on. But let's get this weird crumbling adhesive off of the green wood so we can get a better look at everything. Okay, so this adhesive is actually proven to be quite tough in areas. Some areas you can see it's, it's very loose, you know? Other areas it's, it's kind of like yeah, staying in place, which is really annoying. And I, I want to be careful with this floor because this floor could quite possibly be the original floor. I do think it is. And that would mean it's probably 250 years old. So I don't want to damage it. So I'm gonna think of a way to remove this horrible adhesive without damaging the floor. Now, another really interesting thing about this room if you can see there there's a little bit of orange peeking through along this wall here and what i believe that is is where a fireplace used to be because fireplaces in bedrooms were very common and it would just make sense because it's the kind of kind of right shape right length for it to be a fireplace. So, yeah, I reckon that's where a fireplace was. Quite a cool discovery. And here in the living room is where I've stored the beautiful vinyl floor that I've removed, or both of them actually. And uh, yeah, here is the one that was underneath that one there. And if we go in the second bedroom, that's right, it's exactly the same. But this one, you can probably tell, is in much better condition. There's not really any peeling at all in the corners, whereas the other one was peeling terribly. So, I don't know, maybe I can just keep that one and uh, put some something on top of it, you know? Or, there's probably a wooden floor under this as well, so... Hmm, food for thought. But this second bedroom isn't going to be used as a bedroom. So I don't really care about having that beautiful wooden floor exposed in here as well, but I definitely want it in the existing bedroom. And of course, if I do put something over this, it will be really nice and modern. But the main thing is the wooden floor will still be underneath. It can always be exposed at a later date, but just not by me. Because uh, the kind of main goal of this renovation as well is to be efficient and get it done in a timely manner. Very cost effective as well, you know? So, yeah, that's what we're going for with this renovation project. Yeah, didn't do a bad job. All the stuff's there. And then it can go straight out the window, but not today, because the tip is closed today, so we can't take it away. And I don't want to leave it outside in case it rains tonight. Back at Chateau de la Bamigne now, for anyone who doesn't know, this is where I'm currently staying, in one of the, the houses here, uh, along with my best friends. It's their property, and I'm graciously allowed to stay here while I'm doing up that apartment that you just saw, which also belongs to my best friend. So, incredibly fortunate. Thank you very much indeed. I am very, very lucky. But there are a few things I want to mention before I end today's video. First of all, when I discovered what I believe to be where the old fireplace was, uh, I didn't mention that the orange is actually terracotta tiles. Tomet in French. Uh, don't know why I didn't mention it in the moment, but I am a bumbling buffoon. 
and also the budget right now the total spend so far on day one of this project is zero but that's all gonna change in tomorrow's video so you better stay tuned for that very exciting and uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna crack on with uh with the work what more can i say anyway that's gonna be all from me thank you so much for watching i upload a video every single weekday so yeah feel free to subscribe if you want to and uh, let me know your thoughts what should i do with the floor should i keep that original wooden floor in the bedroom or should i cover it with a uh, modern you know click clack floor which will be great and it will mean that i'll be preserving the wooden floor at least and i definitely won't damage it but yeah i don't know and then at least it'll be matching throughout the whole apartment i don't know what to do i did have my heart set on keeping that wooden floor but i don't know as time passes i think mm, i'd want it all matching i have no idea i have to think about it a little bit more but that's part of the beauty of uh, renovating i guess plenty of time to think change your mind you know change your plans it is what it is okay i'm talking too much now <laughs> i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next video which just so happens to be tomorrow so bye for now